Hi, we're going to take a look today at the new Titman crossover. The crossover uses flex valve technology similar to the new, similar to the phenoms from Titman. Uh, by flex valve, what they mean is this gun can switch between mechanical and electronic modes on the fly. You don't have to change a grip, you don't have to change a board. It fires in electronic mode, and if you have an issue with your battery or anything else in electronic systems, a quick switch lets you go to mechanical and you can keep on playing. This is called the crossover. This is Titman's first foray into the speedball tournament area. An excellent gun so far. I've played with it myself in the tournament and loved it. As you can see head on, it has a very sleek, thin design. Center feed here lets you come out either side of your hopper without exposing any more than any, any other tournament gun. Very nice, stable design. There is a tournament lock switch in your electronic modes. Uh, so it's going to be, and includes different tournament modes like MPPL, PSP, Millennium, Three Shot Burst. Those can all be locked, uh, so it's going to be legal to play in any tournament situation. Also, it has brake beam eyes and uh, detents and a clamping feed neck. Clamping feed neck uh, here easily adjusts to any size hopper you have, set the tension, snap it down, you're good to go. Brake beam eyes in electronic mode, whenever a ball has not fed all the way in, the gun won't fire. It's going to wait until, you're, until that ball is fed all the way in so you're not chopping paint halfway through. If you're in electronic mode, this gun is live right now, not going to fire because of those eyes. You can turn the eyes off for demonstration and see fires just fine. Back into mechanical. Shoots great too. The gun operates at under 300 PSI, so it's very efficient. You can run your bottle down really low. You don't have to worry about running out of air. Air comes out of the tank and into the bottom of the grip. This is a regulator right here. After that, the air, instead of most guns that come up through a bottom line and up through the front grip, in this gun, the crossover, it comes up through the grip and into the valve system. But we know that a lot of, well, Titman knows that a lot of people like to keep their own custom front regs. So this is not just an empty chamber up here. This is actually a plug. And if you want, you can replace this with an aftermarket regulator and run a bottom line from this air input to the bottom of your inline reg and so you can run your own uh, air, own regulator system on that. The trigger is a Hall Effect magnetic trigger so no springs and the magnetic gives you a very nice crisp feel to the trigger. This gun was designed by Tipman to fit the needs of both tournament players and scenario players or woods ball, speeds ball, whatever you want to call them. It's got the the feel of a tournament gun, feel and performance of a tournament gun. The same things that you need in the woods with a sleek design and you get the Titman to your warranty unmatched in paintball. Standard A5 threads, so any barrel you want from just about any company you want you can get. We've got a HBA tank on here. The low pressure, operating pressure of 300 PSI lets you run CO2, no problem also. Uh, so that is the tip and crossfire crossover. We will take a, a quick look here at the firing. So once again, this is in safety mode. It's a double safety. It's a mechanical lock on the trigger, and the power is completely cut off. One switch up puts me into mechanical. Another switch up puts it into electronic eyes. Eyes are off. And that's it. That's the Tipman crossover.